Well, now to the NBC10 investigator, Small Town Secrets. The town of Ipswich and its deputy fire chief are sparking controversy about overtime payments related to state hazmat incidents. Investigative reporter Kathy Curran reviewed records that are raising questions. Ipswich's deputy fire chief is also a member of the state's hazmat team. When he responds to hazmat calls, the state reimburses Ipswich for his pay. But it appears in some cases the town may not be playing by the rules. My name's on. Deputy Chief Lee Prentice. Ipswich Deputy Fire Chief Lee Prentice has been putting out fires and helping to keep the town safe for decades. He's a well respected firefighter who also works with the state's District 6 hazmat team. Last year, Prentice was paid almost $163,000, 34000 in overtime and stipends for those state hazmat calls alone. But some of that OT pay is money he may not have actually earned. The NBC 10 investigators reviewed payroll and timesheet records and found every time Prentice worked a state hazmat call or went to hazmat training during the past two years, he pocketed overtime, even when he was already on duty. The agreement is very clear on this. Mary Connaughton from the government watchdog group, the Pioneer Institute, reviewed the state's Department of Fire Services best value grant that funds the hazmat pay. According to the grant, overtime is only paid if the response occurs beyond the contractual work hours of the employee or if another firefighter is called in to replace the employee responding to a hazmat call. If it's during a scheduled shift, the pay is at the normal rate, not overtime. Hey, Deputy Chief Prentice, Kathy Karn from NBC10. When we caught up with Prentice at the fire station, he told us that overtime is all part of his deal with the town. Uh, no comment, ma'am. It, 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 it's, it's not, to go see the agreement that we, I have with the town. But take a look. On May 1st, 2023, the Deputy Chief is already on duty at the firehouse when a hazmat call comes in at Pentucket Regional High. He uses comp time to put himself off duty and bills the state for overtime. It's a pattern we see on multiple days. And when this truck overturns in Bill Ricca, Prentice is out sick, but jumps into action and cashes in on more overtime. Records also show Prentice using vacation days, which are paid out at a straight time rate, to attend a hazmat conference and a pre-scheduled drill, but then billing the state to rake in on that overtime once again. There's, there's no comment to, to be made. I, everybody was in fa everybody says I, I did nothing wrong. This is an emergency meeting of the Our questions to the state about Ipswich's overtime reimbursements prompted a review and clarification of the grant's rules. The improvements are rooted in uh, transparency. The team members on duty time will be reimbursed at the team members straight time rate. Back in Ipswich. He's provided really phenomenal service to the Commonwealth. Town manager Stephen Crane doesn't believe the town is doing anything wrong. Deputy Chief Prentice is salaried and uses his own vacation leave to respond. Uh, he is not on duty. He's paid differently. But that's not what the agreement says. We've always believed that we're in compliance with what the state requires. In the last two years, the state doled out almost $983,000 in hazmat reimbursements for firefighters. They put their trust in cities and towns to follow the rules. I don't know if there's been any audits of these, but maybe there should be. I have no more comment to say on this. The Department of Fire Services wants to ensure the financial sustainability of the grant and the benefits it delivers. Ipswich officials tell us if they need to make changes to comply in the future, they will. Kathy Karn, NBC10 Investigators.